Hi my loves and welcome to a new and updated Katie's YouTube channel. Very, very excited for you to be here. I'm very excited for our new content calendar that I've got planned for the next few months. I can't wait to start sharing some more vlogs with you. I've got some hauls coming up. I've got some amazing, amazing, amazing finds. And also I'm gonna add a little bit more things in like my favorite skincare, makeup, hair, all of the things that you might wanna see. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit subscribe and let's get into today's vlog. So I thought I'd take you along with me today as I head up to London for a really cool content day. Um, I'm meeting with a few brands and here is what I brought with me, which are my essentials I take everywhere. Perfume, you've got to make a first good impression and that Chanel Gabrielle is the best. Secondly, my slick back comb. The weather wasn't great and I did wear my hair down and styled, but I always have it in my bag just in case I need to chuck my hair up for a quick slick back. This Kerastase product I've absolutely been loving recently and it's really, really good for achieving that slick back look whilst also nourishing the hair. The same with this one. This one is more of a spray. I use this one when my hair's actually dry and I'm styling it in the slick back. And then finally, some hair oil. Super, super important. Always nourishing your hair, keeping it in good condition and it helps to give that like sleek look. This is my favourite lipstick I bought recently. It's from Foo Face. I've never had one of their products before, but I've worn it every day since it arrived. This is also a new product for me. It's called Nude Sticks, and that's actually a bronzer, and it's pretty much replaced my bronzer. It's like a contour stick, actually, but it has replaced my bronzer. So I arrived, and the first thing I went to was River Island, the main store in London, and really, really luckily, I had a PR appointment, so I got to meet up with the girls at River Island, and have a little look, all the new bits in store, and I wish the Swansea store was this amazing, because oh my god, they had so many dreamy bits. I absolutely love this light pink colour, now I'm not much of a colour girly, but oh my god, this light pink was amazing. Also this maroon, which is the colour of the moment, I did have to pick up this skirt, it's absolutely gorgeous, I absolutely love, I don't like a midi satin skirt, but I like a mid axi or a maxi satin skirt, also look at the decor in River Island, um, hello, this coat was absolutely gorgeous, very impractical, a white coat, especially when I live in Wales and it rains all the time, but maybe if you live in a city where it's drier and you have a lot more, you know, tidy, sleek coffee shops, I thought it would just be perfect. This is also dreamy. I've seen these kind of coats ever at the minute. I actually picked one up so similar to this from um, New Look in the end, but I did love this one. I just loved the New Look one ever so slightly more, but I love the detail. Moving on to some key essentials and basics, little slightly elevated ones here. So I always think a striped shirt is a wardrobe essential. It's perfect for every single time of year. And yeah, I don't know how you live without them if you don't have them. And also a white shirt. I love this oversized style. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love the sleeves. I had a really cool, cool sleeve detail as well. If anyone wants any links from anything I've shared, let me know and I can pop them in the comment section for you. So this was like a really funky two piece slash three piece. There was actually a coat that came with this. It was, um, yeah, the trousers are really heavy, hence them falling off the rail but um i tried them on and you'll see me in the changing room trying them on and i have to, unfortunately they didn't suit my figure but i think they look really really great on a more straight figure than maybe my, perhaps my more hourglass figure gray as well it's everywhere at the moment absolutely love it can't go wrong with some basics like a blazer also just love a two-piece it's like the easiest way to look elevated and you can wear this in, in the day with a plain white tee and some plain trainers or you could elevate it in the evening for um any occasion really with some heels and any top you fancy. Also, River Island Denim is having a bit of a moment and if you haven't tried their jeans yet, I don't know where you've been, but they are absolutely killing it on the jean front. Hello, ready for Christmas. <laughs> all the sparkles had arrived in store and I wasn't mad about it at all. Also all the cozy knitwear and as you can see, nice bomber jackets. I wasn't sure on this, but I felt like it needed to be shown in the video because it was having a moment of its own, whatever it was. Um, and here's a few more other bits of knitwear I saw. Again, lots of blaze, blacks, greys, um, and again, lots and lots of denim in store. And like I said, if you haven't tried their denims, you really need to. If you have a Christmas party, this is the dress that you need because for £50, it's an outfit in one, and oh my God, it was absolutely gorgeous. I'm really surprised actually I didn't try it on. Don't know why I didn't try it on. I think I was, at the time, It was this was October, obviously, and I just wasn't in the season 
of festivities yet but oh my god this red blazer for Christmas day I absolutely love it and let me know what you guys think about these silver trousers that I ever at the minute Love this photo of the crop so much. I definitely picked it up and you'll be seeing it styled over my Instagram very, very soon. I really love the idea of a crop trench and I just love the faux leather at this time of year. Not really sure about this, but I actually think styled, it might be quite nice, but it kind of on the hanger looks awful. I reckon on a body, however, it might transform it and look quite high end. I might be very wrong. What a cute little cardi. What a cute little silver pair of boots. Have you ever seen anything more sparkly? These were everywhere in like every shop that I went into as well when I was in London that day. And oh my God, I love nothing more than knitwear and sequins. It is the combo for me that has to happen every Christmas and every festivity because it's just the best. I have this Queen Bomber and I also have it in gray. They also have it in black, which I didn't realize. And I wear it all the time. And I love this brown uh, sequin skirt. I hadn't seen a brown sequin one like last year I feel like it was all silver and all gold but yeah this would be cute paired with like jeans and heels for you know your evening night out and then I just had a little pop around the store any other little bits that I thought might be worth a little video. Don't know what you think about this but there was also matching jeans which I did pick up for jeans. Waistcoats if you don't have one they are such an essential and such an easy way to elevate any outfit day and night. Here I am in the very fancy changing rooms in this Rivine store. Oh my God, have you ever seen any so fancy? Unfortunately, the top was a little bit big. The trousers fit like a dream and I absolutely love them. Unfortunately, I didn't pick it up because I just felt like at this time of year, I felt like it was the wrong color. If it was summer, this for me would be perfect. However, you did want to wear it at this time of year. You could wear it dressed up with some silver heels and a silver bag. I do think it would look really cute. But for me, I know I just tend to stick towards more darker tones when I'm going out. Then I saw this cute grey knit. I do actually have this in two colours already and I love it. It's really soft, really cosy, perfect basic. And I didn't have a dark grey midi skirt. These denim midi skirts, I love them. I wear them all the time. They look really, really nice styles so many different ways. So I did try this one on, but unfortunately, again, it was a bit big. So that was quite a nice moment because normally it's the opposite, isn't it, of, of that happening. Okay, so I told you I was trying this two-piece on and here it is. I just don't think this does anything for my shape at all. I thought it was pretty cool. I couldn't get the top on, which was bizarre. I absolutely never don't fit into a size 12 top. I'm That's like my smaller part, so it was really weird. But I just thought the peplum bottom was not flattering, especially with a wide leg trouser. It was just giving me bigger and bigger and bigger. However, the detail, as you can see, is really, really cool. And like I said, on the right figure, I actually think this is a really nice find. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm loving light pink at the minute and I just think adding soft pink knits in like this to the wardrobe are really nice ways to bring some colour into your wardrobe at this time of year. Paired with jeans and some, some of your favourite boots, really, really easy way to wear them. And then I also saw this sheer top. Now, this came in quite a few colours and I actually picked up the brown one instead of the white. Um, I thought the brown would look quite nice paired with the skirt. It was like a maroony, browny, red colour. As you can see, it almost matches my nails and I'm a bit obsessed with this colour at the minute. So yeah, I picked up the skirt and swapped the top for a different colour one. And then finally, this is the main event. <laughs> I saw this satin maxi skirt and I was in love. This is just easy, effortless, and again, could be worn day or night, but I'd preferably probably wear this in the evening just because it's got a little bit fancier edge. However, you could wear it in the day with an oversized knitted jumper and either boots or trainers for a really easy day look. Here I am with the Gailies in the headquarters of the River Island in London. They're all so lovely and they were really, really helpful that day. And yeah, what a gorgeous office they have. How awesome is this sneak preview to their inside space? And when I was leaving, I happened to walk past the shoes. I thought, how on earth did I miss these? So the shoes and bags in River Island at the minute are absolutely gorgeous. I picked up those boots. I already have them in the brown color. Am I gonna need the third pair in the silver? I don't know. The Mary Janes they had in store, lots of Chanel style dupes of the shoes as well. Let me know what you think of those. Are, are, they, are they your trend? Are they not? They are. I, I kind of like them, but I'm not obsessed. I have one pair in plain black and that's as far as I'll go for a while. How perfect are these for every single evening outfit? I have the black ones next to it and I do wear them a lot. Really nice kitten heels, so nice and small for me. Being five foot nine, I don't love a huge heel. And then when I was walking out, like I said, I did happen to come across some of the bags and 
there was quite a few they were quite nice um look at this one. Oh my god this is just perfect imagine a little black dress or a blazer and your favorite top here's the fancy river island headquarters doors closing don't know why i felt the need to film that but i just thought it was a bit fancy and if you don't have any high knee boots or over the knee boots or knee high boots then River Island also has some amazing selections of these. I saw these brown ones and the beige ones. Really, really gorgeous. And the heel height isn't too bad on them, to be honest. Um, it's maybe slightly higher than I would normally go for, but for £70 a real leather boot, I thought this was quite a good price point. Here I am with my outfit of the day. I hope you like it. I wore this like grey knitted wool blazer, which I was absolutely boiling in. <laughs> However, I felt like it looked really chic and it was the outfit. So if I took it off, it just wasn't much of an outfit. Um, and then lots of these like Borg fluffy furry bags in store. Oh my God, how cute are these? I feel like I need some of these for uh, my next ski trip. Not that we've booked one because we're in the middle of buying a house at the minute. But yeah, that was River Island done and on my way then to the next Christmas event. So I'm just at the next PR showroom for their Christmas event and I'm having a look behind the scenes um, at all the stuff they've got coming out for Christmas, for home, um, women's, children, everything. And they've also got some really great brands on next, which I didn't realise they did have. So let's go and have a look together at them. So I arrived at the next event and this is specifically for Christmas. So launching all of their Christmas for home, beauty, skin, new in women's, men's, kids, they literally have everything. This is an advent calendar from them, which I really loved. It's one in the beauty section, so it's a lovely gift for maybe a sister, a mum, for yourself, or any males watching for your partners, or ladies for your partners. Um, yeah, I just thought this was lovely. Their home stuff absolutely blew me away. I love that like snow-covered Christmas tree, and I love that multicoloured one. I just thought it was really fun. And they had so many gorgeous... Um, home bits which made me really really excited as I might mention a little surprise later on or I may have already mentioned it I'm not sure um but anyway I think it's absolutely gorgeous and yeah look at these festive treats oh my god they honestly smashed it this year next isn't necessarily somewhere I'd think to go for gifting as such but for decorations definitely but the gifts as well they were absolutely amazing so I'm definitely going to be having a look there this season for my gifts for family and they had this amazing bauble making class so I didn't expect this and it was a really really lovely surprise because I've never done anything like that like actually made my own bauble before so it was really really cool um, at these events they always have really amazing food and coffees and stuff and I love that little next uh, one they did on top Here's me in the bauble making class making my bauble. So basically there were all these colours in the middle of the table and you just had to keep dropping them in little dots into the water. Now I'm not sure if it was like some specific water or if you could actually try this at home because if you can I'm 100% going to do that but I'm sure there was a way that made it like this because it was so cool. So while I was waiting for the paint to dry on my bauble I went for a little nosy round and I came across as you guys will probably know everywhere at this minute is just red specifically came out more so at the start of autumn but obviously for Christmas it's ideal and silver trend it's just everywhere and I have or maybe have been convinced to buy some silver boots not those ones but I will show you them probably later on in this video and these are all the brands that next store that I absolutely did not have a clue about mango being one of them which is like one of my favorite stores of all time so definitely worth a little look out in case you didn't know those things and especially if your favorites are sold out on those kind of websites that you'd normally shop on. I thought this was a really awesome thing and I just didn't know about it, so I thought it would be worth sharing. Lots of lovely smellies, gifts and home bits, and I just thought these were really nice, like I said earlier, ideas they didn't know next did for Christmas presents. And oh, these bits of the home, I can't even tell you how gorgeous is that all of them like all of them I could have had one of each I will be honest they weren't the cheapest but they are absolutely gorgeous and I am all about quality over quantity these days I'd rather invest in one really really nice item than I would buy something I kind of like just because it's cheaper um than you know then go in, in for the kill, as they say, <laughs> with a more expensive item. And then upstairs I went and, oh my God, sparkles everywhere, pretty much. Sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. 
and amazing. This was like a new in rail. So this is what was coming soon, not even launched yet. So it was really cool to be able to see those bits. Absolutely gorgeous. Classics, uh, the faux shearling gilet that's coming up here. Absolutely love that. Really gorgeous. There's one on M&S at the minute that's sold out very, very similarly. So this will be a good seller, I'm sure. Classic camel coats, blazers, lots of leather that we're seeing this year. I'm really, really enjoying wearing leather. It's a really nice mix to go with knitwear and basically just like up levels your knitwear, I think. So yeah. And then finally, I don't want to babble on too much longer, but oh my God, I just couldn't leave these bits out. There's a new brand within Next, like I mentioned earlier, called Self. Um, and it's a little bit like a back to basics brand. So they've like body suits, underwear, socks, and just like really nice quality staple basics. So I just thought it was important to pop them in. Then I popped to Selfridges and met up with one of my best friends. So we stopped for a little coffee and a cake. Oh, look how cute she is. And we had to obviously have a little nosy around the store afterwards. There were so many nice new bits in and I popped to the House of CB section and oh, always, always, always killing it. I honestly think if you've got a wedding coming up to go to this year, then you need to pop to House CB because I just love their dresses. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I think the tripod's a bit low. Good morning, my loves. It's Friday. I have had a lovely Saturday. Um, I love when days start like this. I wish all my days could start like this, but sometimes that would probably just cause burnout. And maybe if I did it every day, I wouldn't love it. But I went to the gym at 6, 6.30, 6.30 till 7.30. Went and picked up a lovely takeaway coffee. Went for a gorgeous morning stroll. I'm going to insert some footage because, oh my God, the sunrise was gorgeous. If I open now outside my window, it's grey. Cloudy, and we did get a little bit wet with the rain on the way back. So I've got my steps in, not quite 10,000, I've done 8,000, but it's only 9am. So that's a really good start to the day. I'll definitely hit my 10,000 by the end of the day. Um, and now I'm just going to crack on. I've got I actually got a really busy admin day today. Um, how cute is this jumper, by the way? I'm not sure I've got a cosy jacket. It's absolutely such a dream. It's not the one that I shared on my Instagram. Um, it, this is actually a different one. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I've got a heavy admin day today. It's Friday. And I went to London yesterday, which you will have seen. And I had the most wonderful day. Really lovely. I was so tired when I got in. Bless Reese, he brought me a Domino's. And I only had two slices because I, I wasn't really hungry. I was like, I just want to lie in bed. And just decompress because London's like so fast paced. I went up and back in the day, so it was busy. But um, yeah, as you'll have seen, it was very fun, very festive. I really enjoyed all the activities I did, um, and I got to sort of see my best friends. That's always lovely. Um, I had a really nice week actually, a really good week. Very productive, very fast. It's gone, and today I'm gonna get on with. I've got so many brand selections to do, which is one of my favourite parts of my job. Like I get to look online on websites and like pick clothes. I love that aspect of my job. However, sometimes it can be quite overwhelming. If you don't have like anything specific in mind or there's no like content brief sometimes for something, you're like, okay, so I've just got this humongous website with like 700 million pages that I get to look through, which is very fortunate and pick things from. But sometimes it can be very overwhelming, especially when you've got a lot in one go. And today I've actually got in the style, Karen Millen, River Island, and new look selections to do. And I'm like, that's a lot in one day. Oh, and um, my long tall Sally one as well. So it's gonna be me sat at a computer for the rest of the day. So I probably won't film too much more today. Um, I'll see what we're up to on the weekend and say I think we're taking you a long way. All fresh and clean from my shower. Put my magic cream on and I've also had my brows laminated. So, cause I'm gonna be working from home today. I've put on some, what's it called, castor oil on them, which doesn't look that great, but they look good. And my eyelashes also lifted, had LVL done. Um, but because I popped to London yesterday, um, and I wore one, this blazer here, this wool blazer, which was hot in London to wear, um, I'm just going to refresh it today with this. And I just thought I'd share it with you because it's one of those things, I'm like, oh, this is like a really handy 
like tip trick that I wish I knew about before. So it's basically like a fabric, fabric freshener. You know how you use like Glade to like diffuse any smells in the air or like maybe you're in your shoes um, or Febreze, that kind of vibe. This is like that before your clothes. So it's like really, really gentle on your clothes, but it's got like a really subtle smell. It doesn't smell like strong, but it just refreshes. So like with blazers and stuff, you don't really want to wash them regularly because it means it'll wear obviously really regularly. So all you have to do, I'll just show you now. Also in my world's comfiest tracksuit, um, is grab your item you're going to be doing. I'll, I will leave a link down below. I think there's a discount code as well. Um, and I just spray it like either like under the armpits. If there's any like marks or stains on it as well, you can do that. You can like just spray it on and then like gently with a cloth dampen it off. Um, but I just like spray, <laughs> so it sounds a bit rank, but like the armpits and like it just, let me hit myself in the face, it just refreshes it because things like this are normally like dry clean only. You can't wash them. Can't believe I went to it. <laughs> I went to London with a button still attached. That's quite funny. Um, is this one dry clean only? Yeah, dry clean only. So it's like, you're not gonna, every single time you use it, you're not gonna take it to the dry cleaners, are you? Or wear it. So that's what I tend to do. And I'm actually gonna just inside out it on the hanger. So it's got time to like let that breathe and sit. Um, just leave it hung up somewhere. And then I might just give it like a, an overall little refresh too. And I just feel like that's such a handy little little knack that I wish I knew about more. And just so you know, it is also, you can use it on cashmere, cotton, denim, silk, wool, blazers, coats, knitwear, shoes, trousers, beds, carpets, cushions, prams, and sofas. So like you can literally use it on everything. It says instantly cleans fabrics, removes odors, and dry wash without water. It's just such a handy knack. I also get like, orange quite a lot like I've got no makeup on today but whenever I've got foundation on I wear a hoodie that's light coloured I get it all around here as well and it's a nice easy way like to clean that I sometimes use a cloth as well but yeah just a little handy knack so I'll leave it linked down below for you guys um and oh it does say shake well before you so I didn't do that but I have been jumping around so let's just hope it's fine and it's just got like um oh it says eucalyptus and lavender the smell is and it's carbon negative. So this is a brand that I'm on board with. I like finding new little independent brands and I'm also really loving like branding at the minute, like looking at the branding and I just really like their branding as well. So just thought I'd pop that in and share that with you. But now I'm gonna go have my breakfast and um, yeah, start on my laptop for the day. So I've ordered some new gym trainers because, my head. Correct. Last month, how many how many pairs did I order? Twelve. Like, yeah, like eleven or twelve pairs. I didn't like any of them. So here we are. I've got, I've got two this time, so that's an improvement on last time. And I currently have the New Balance by by Thirties. Reese hates them. I love them. And I don't really want to replace them. I just but they've got a hole in. So I'm like, and they also haven't lasted well. So it means I don't know why I've ordered more. But I just love the, the shape so much and I love that they go with everything. Oh, oh he's out for the gym. I forgot. <laughs> he's stunning. <laughs> oh, I wish you could see Reese's face. They're stunning. It's a dabs. Oh, they look sweet. Oh my god, they're stunning. Right. Oh, they are for the gym. It says New Balance Running. Okay, so I didn't. I thought these. I think we could use them for both, but they're very really scruffy and I want them to look nice. Nice. They are absolutely. This isn't the 530, this is a new new one. 2002. And they've got a gorgeous grey suede. I don't have any grey trainers, and I've been really obsessed with grey. And I call pull grey out of it. What? Could you <laughs> And then, I think that these, which again, probably not the most gym practical, but they are the ones I've currently got. Also, sorry, I'm going to dishwash it. Oh, I love them both. I don't really wear 
anything like creamy or browny to the gym. I wear more like grey, black, white. Oh, but they're lush. Do you like them? Oh, they're stunning. They're like, they're like a neutral dream. I think they're the ones. I think I'm going to keep them. And I hopefully they won't get as dirty because I just have these in like the plain white and silver. But, oh my god. They just keep bringing out in new colourways and that's probably the nicest one I've seen ever in the history of life. I'll just have to get more brown gym clothes. <laughs> just so I can wear these really nicely. It's fine in the summer when you wear like lighter ones, like I've got cream ones, but yeah. Anyway, stunning. I have to try them on, see how we go. I have to try these ones on too because we'll see how we go with them, but yeah, I just love them. <laughs> was my Vinted. I uploaded some stuff on Vinted last night as you would have seen. Um, I'm just getting ready to start filming today. I've done a hair wash and I've actually been using this new product from L'Oreal which are ridiculous. So if anyone's got damaged, blonde, bleached, heat damaged, brittle, weak hair or like just really dry hair that's just not loving life. Because I wanted to use it a few times before I Oh, so dark. I wanted to use it a few times before I came on and like spoke about it and I have really massively noticed the difference so it's a set of three products they're called the molecular repair absolute molecular repair and you've got a shampoo this is a really weird style of conditioner but it actually actually repairs and restores the hair's elasticity and strength and basically improves the hair quality by 50%. So I've used it three times now and I absolutely love it. And then there's also a leave it in mask. So you have to wait till your hair's almost dry like mine is now. I've just let it air dry today, but I'm gonna blow dry it to finish off and style um, with a blow dry. A new hair dryer that I want to talk to you about actually as well. The tool I've been using to dry my hair, which is an absolute game changer. I literally had like a 25 year old hair dryer. I mean, like about seven X's ago, mum bought it me for Christmas. So it was probably over like 13 years old. Um, and Cloud9 kindly sent me their new one to try. And you know, like in salons when your hair gets dried so well, so sleek, no frizz, no frays. Like, this is what does that good quality hair dryers. And I never realised, I just thought hair dryer was just a hair dryer. Like, I didn't think there was that much difference in it. But this is a game changer. And it also does it super quick as well. It is a little bit more pricey. But with Christmas coming up, I feel like if you are in need of an upgrade, maybe that would be a good one to pop on your Christmas list. I will leave it linked down below. And everything I always talk about in the videos... As long as I remember, it will be linked down below. If you ever can't find anything, just ask. Um, and I'll do my best to help you out. Um, the other thing I wanted to pop and mention was actually this. So this one has got SPF 30 in, but I also have the hyaluronic acid that doesn't have SPF 30 in that I use in the nights. I don't use it every day either. So it's a tannin serum for your skin. And I just find this time of year, like I like to have a little bit of tan on. It's quite natural. I actually use their gradual tan at the minute. Um, and my face is something, because I am quite on it with my skincare, my face is something that is always really white. So to have something that like this, I can just pop. The other one you pop into your moisturiser, that one you put on on its own, then your moisturiser. Um, it's just wonderful. So yeah, I've really been enjoying using that and I only got it recently, so I'm glad I found it because my other hyaluronic tanning face thing wasn't just wasn't working. I'd wake up and like my face would be exactly the same colour. So I'm glad I found one that works. One product I'll never live without is the Chartilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm not gonna go with like 
If I was going for, for a day out, I'd put like a primer on and all that shebang, but I just feel like they're not necessary unless you're actually going somewhere where you need it to last perfectly all day long. I'm literally filming like two videos, I think, today. So I only need it for the morning, really. I mean, I say the morning, but the morning's nearly over. Also, I'm going to take this watch off. I've got this on for my steps, but I swear, when I'm sat down and I'm doing things like this, it thinks I'm like stepping. That is my favourite all time. No makeup, makeup, that one. Look at that glow and that goodness. I've swapped mm. out from Charlotte Tilbury recently. I just fancy a change every now and then. And Double Wear Estee Lauder is my old favourite. And I just thought, do you know what? We'll have you again. We'll have you again for a little bit. I don't know what it is. Something about the winter makes me feel like I can get away with a slightly more coverage. Slightly thicker foundation. I don't know why. But I actually don't think it's as thick as it used to be. I think they've like changed the formula slightly. It's still good coverage, but it used to feel like I used to be able to feel it on my skin. Whereas I can't, I can't feel this one. I don't know if it's because I put it on like that. And then I feel like it's really good because because it's such an open lid, if you put too much on your hand, you can actually just pour it back in and then there's like never any wastage and you can use exactly what you want. I find sometimes with the pump ones, you end up using way more than you want. So I found out a good hack on TikTok the other day actually as well, that about if you get your concealer in your creases, being over 30, um, then this is a little hack for it. So rather than like put the concealer on all the way across and then bring it down, just put, like I just did then, a little bit on the inside and with your finger, because the heat helps melt it into the skin, just dab it in and then any excess you just bring out to the sides and that stops heavy creasage. Still might get a little bit, but powder can help that. But at the minute I've only got like this, this glowy powder. So I'm not using it because it's just... Another product I'm loving, which when it came, I was like, I don't really know what to do with it. But now I'm obsessed and I use it every single day, even on like my last makeup days, is this product. And it's called a nude stick. Subtle contouring, not like heavy. Um, and I just blend it in with my bronzing brush. I've also become a blusher girly. I really wasn't before. But baked blush. Look how stunning that is. I love it. And I found out why I didn't like blush before. I don't like the pinky pinky blushes. What I like is a more orangey blush. Orangey pinky. Stunning. I literally love it. And I also found another hack. I feel like I've found all the hacks recently. Or maybe I just haven't told you because it's been such a long time since we've done a vlog. Since we've done a little vid. Is. I've got this lipstick. This time I went out to... L'Oreal, London. Um, Lancome did our makeup, which was really cool. And they gave us some freebies. And one of them was a mascara, which is as good as my Charlotte Tilbury. And that's my favorite mascara. So it's up there. Um, is this lipstick. And as you can see, it's like a really orangey color. Not my vibe. So I was like, oh, should I sell it? Should I get rid of it? But I had just tested it. So I was like, mm, I've kind of used it now. So I can't really get rid of it. And I don't really know anyone who's going to wear an orange lip. So, it's now my blusher. It's now my second blush. And I just, I don't know what it is. I just really love it. I have to, well, this is how a filming day would go from start to finish. And I feel this is quite interesting because a lot of people wouldn't know what goes on the behind the scenes of this job. Which I think is why vlogging is quite interesting to see. So... Initially, when you've secured the brand collaboration, you then need to follow the brief. So the brief is normally either really specific, like, um, I don't know, like a Christmas ad, for example, where you have to pick in our like new in Christmas pieces and share them. Sometimes they even send you a lookbook that you get to choose from, which is quite limited. And I don't like it when brands do that because I feel like you're picking things you might not necessarily pick from the site. So it's not always a true representation of, you know, like our style. Um, however, if it was like awful and I was like, that's not me, I cannot wear it, I wouldn't wear it. 
and I'd tell them that and I probably would decline the brief. Um, but so we then pick go online, pick the outfits or whatever, and then the stuff arrives. I then iron it. But this is a part that no one ever sees is the amount of ironing I do. Bloody ironing. Because stuff always comes so creased. Um, which is so annoying. So I normally style my hair and then I iron and then the steam from the iron, because I've got a steam iron, <laughs> like makes my hair go curly. So then I have to restyle my hair. Yeah, then I've got to set my lounge up completely. We're currently living in like a one bed flat in the process of purchasing a house. And we both work from home. That's always fun. I literally have to rearrange the lounge, um, set all my lighting up, set my tripod up, film my videos, and I will show you the aftermath of the videos today because it's a mess, and then I have to psych myself up to mentally clear that away. I'm actually going to use the Lancome one today so you can see how good it is. And um, then edit, then you send it to the brand for approval, and touch wood, I've never not had anything approved first time so that's good um and then you see it go live on instagram but that's like hours if not days of time sometimes it can be weeks because like i could have been negotiating the brand deal for weeks beforehand even months actually at times look at that that is the best mascara um so yeah, that's a little bit of an insight. Any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Finishing off with my all time favorite, Chartlebury. Just realized I'm getting my eyebrows, but to be honest, I had them laminated the other day and they're looking all right on their own. Put a little bit of pencil on them. And then that is, oh, I haven't done my lippy either. <laughs> that's the finished look and now I'm gonna blow dry my hair and if anyone's got curly hair like me wish me luck I just want to show you this really quickly so I've not used a straightener I've not used anything other than my hair dryer and the brush and look how straight and sleek it is normally I'd need a straightener to get this result with my curly video today I'm following with ways to wear sorry key autumn jackets you need so I've got a beige blazer really lovely gilet this is a aviator jacket but you can also take the arms off so it becomes a gilet as well so it's like a two-in-one um, and then I've got a black blazer then I will be doing a video on the what the brand gorgeous jacket as well um, this is the aftermath, like this is, sorry, this is the pre before it even gets messy. So all of the sofas have been moved out of the way, all my filming lights are up and I mean it already looks a state but wait until I finish videoing <laughs> it'll look even worse. Here I've got my outfit set up, I've kicked Reese out from his little mini desk at the Shaggy Bar next door and time to get filming. But it's um so that might be oh God I can't speak. That's why it might be a little bit dark. But 
it's Saturday night. Me and Reese had a really nice date day today. I didn't film any of it because I think it's really important to be present and like spend just one quality day at least a week together. Um, but he's just watching the rugby now, so I was like, right, I'm gonna go do some unboxing. Um, but um, what did we do today? We went to we went bowling, which was so random. Like I never go bowling. It's not like a thing I do. It's not like something I love or he loves. But we were just like, let's. What can we actually go and do? Something like fun together that's silly. And it was really fun, like I really enjoyed. And then we went to Five Guys oh, for a burger and chips. And oh my God, they were so good. So good. Um, and I could still like, I'm full up to here. And we also popped to Zara. I may or may not have bought a dreamy coat um, that I will share with you in a second. I also picked up some really nice bits from Reese because he, I don't know about you guys and your partners, but he's one of those people that will like wear something until it's like literally died on him. And I'm like, we have to peel that off you because you've had it too long. You look like the battery died. Um, I can't remember what I was saying, but I think I was saying something along the lines of what we were up to today. <laughs> I can't even remember five minutes ago. Anyway, we went for a five guys. Oh, we went to Zara and I bought some really nice bits for Reese, that's what I was gonna say. I will hopefully try and get him to do a little fashion show or model some of them for you tomorrow because they look much better on. It's just really nice, like updated knitwear, but like really casual, smart day stuff. Like I feel like in the day, like he only just wears like a t-shirt. I'm like, sometimes you just wanna look a little bit more elevated than a t-shirt. So I was like, we're gonna get you some sexy man bits. <laughs> and I feel like we did, so. Hopefully we'll get him to do a little try on haul for us. What I wanted to pop on to show you was some little Pilar parcels that have arrived today. I've been dying to open them, but I thought, right, I'll wait and vlog it because it's actually a bit more excited to do it with you guys. Um, so the first one is from What The Brand and they're a brand I have really, really enjoyed. It's fairly new, I wanna say like a year old maybe. So they're actually two twins that have started the brand. They're two sisters and they're twins. Yeah, of course they're twins. Their Instagram handles, we are twin set. Um, we are, and that's what the W-A-T stands for. What? Um, go on, I'm getting it. So they kindly have sent me two items from their newest autumn collection. Um, they, I, we're going to send a third one, but it's not launched yet. So when it does launch and they do send it to me, I'll share it with you because it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, one thing I am obsessed with at the minute, and I feel like is really underrated, are knitted dresses. I feel like they are, to me, the comfiest and coziest, but also really chic thing that you can wear at this time of year. So I picked up this absolutely gorgeous, oh, and it is perfect. Their stuff is just lovely quality, really nice cut, really nice fit. Um, I'll try it on for you. I'll probably wear it tomorrow, actually, because it's kind of Sunday vibe, isn't it? Knitted dress. It does look quite oversized, which should be quite nice. Um, and it's midi, is it mid-axi length? Let's see. Okay, no, it's like more like a maxi length. So... In case you guys don't know, I'm five foot nine, so I'm quite tall. And I find this stuff that is good length like, isn't always easy, but um, yeah, I'm excited to style that and wear that tomorrow. I think I'll wear that with some boots and going over my, I want to say parents-in-law, but we're not quite there yet. We are engaged, but still not married. Um, still trying to plan the wedding and all that saga. Just don't really know what the right thing to do is, but I feel like that's another chat for another day. Because when I get into wedding talk, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Um, so yeah, I picked that up in the 12, but like I said, I'll try it on for you in the morning tomorrow and show you my outfit of the day. Um, today I did actually wear a really cute outfit as well, which I should have vlogged, because that was really nice. <laughs> Maybe I'll start like each vlog with my outfits of the day moving forward. Let me know if you think I should do that, because I think that'd be quite nice. I'll just show you like actually what I wore that week at the start, and then we can get into the vlog. I think that's a good way to like, incorporate a bit more into it. Um, and then this is a belted blazer. This feels more like a jacket. This is gorgeous. So look at this herringbone detail. I'm really, really enjoying herringbone at the minute. And I'm also really obsessed with gray. Basically anything gray or anything like a shade of brown, 
at the minute, I'm like, I'm sold. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm loving it. This looks so smart. So I'm when I'm like, when I'm trying to find new pieces for my wardrobe at the minute, I'm really thinking about like things that I'll have for the next like five to 10 years. I'm 32, so I'm thinking like, what am I gonna want to wear when I'm like 35, 38, 40? Like, um, are the pieces I'm buying or investing in or that I'm choosing from brands, are they pieces I'm gonna want to wear in like five or 10 years? And if they're not, then I'm not investing in them. I'm not having them. I'm not spending my money on them. And I don't even want them in my house. Just waste my time before I sell stuff on Vinted. Um, which if you aren't already, I sell so much stuff on Vinted and loads of it is like brand new with tags. So make sure you are following me over there. I'll leave it in the link down below. Um, yeah, and I update it like weekly. So this is absolutely gorgeous. It does look quite snug. I'm quite nervous about, <laughs> about this. I feel like it's not gonna be one for jumpers underneath but I think it does look really nice I'm really really excited to try that on um and I'm thinking of styling that in either over like a knitted jumper dress or if it's long enough but if it's not if it's a little bit shorter I'm thinking it'll look nice with like some either like leggings and high knee boots or some like faux leather skinny kind of leggings slash trousers you know like the wet lucky kind of ones that would look really nice. I also think it would look quite nice with, I've got some Zara leather trousers. I think it would look really good with. And then the second parcel I've got to unbox with you is from Moda in Pele. And this is a brand I've worked with for about two years now as well. And they always just have like really lovely, good quality pieces. Um, some of their website is really not my thing, but I do find a few pieces on there every time I look that I'm really impressed with. So I don't actually know what they sent me because although I did pick it, oh, the box seemed like the wrong size. <laughs> this is the right thing. Um, I sent them some options and then they just picked what they were gonna send out of the options. So as party season is coming up, comes in a dust bag also, which I love, uh, I thought I would go for, and obviously because it's a silver trend right about now, I am normally such a gold person, but I am really enjoying the silver trend of like, bags, earrings, um, silver heels. I've actually seen some silver boots, which I'm so in like two minds about. Do I go for it? Do I not? They're probably something I'd only wear like on a night out or, or like for drinks and with dinner with like jeans and a gray jumper. And like I dress them down a lot. I wouldn't like glam them up because I think they'd look really tacky and really cheap and not a vibe. Um, but because there's so much like silver e-vibe stuff coming in, Oh, there's a little mark on it. Oh, that's a bit sad. Anyway, I picked up this, which is a really cute, classic little clutch. Probably, yes, does have two strap options. Oh, that's nice. And we only get one. That's a really nice, actually, that strap option. Obviously, they, they need to come off. Um, I really like that. And then it's got just your regular chain strap as well. So that's really cute. Very much like that. Very cute, very nice cute like wedding guest clutch but also cute just like a really good one to have in the wardrobe as backup forevermore um and then they come in these really lovely boxes which i think is uh very nice and very handy i keep things like tights in them belts and then i also picked up which boots did they send me oh cute these are nice so what I'm doing as well at the minute is I'm trying to like up level things in my wardrobe that maybe could do with replacing. And obviously a, a, a black boot is such a staple, like such a classic. However, I've got like ones from New Look and there's nothing wrong with New Look, but you know when they start to look a bit tatty? So I've upgraded to a leather pair and oh, they are really dreamy. And they've got kind of like a dark gray silvery heel, which I think is just like a really, different feature but like very subtle just to like elevate them that little bit more i love how pointy the toe is on these oh, they are actually actually gorgeous they're really nice i can't wait to style them perfect just for this time of year like every single time i probably go out in the evenings they're gonna be on my feet so they just go with everything and they're so easy and again just perfect one to have in the wardrobe as a staple and that's something i'm really trying to focus on at the minute is like having really key pieces that are always there like if I'm like right I need to go out last minute 
I don't ever want to be like, oh, I've got nothing to wear. I just want to have key staples that I just are easy to style, easy to wear, go with so much. I don't want to call it capsule wardrobe because I feel like that term is like really overused and I think of it as like really boring and I think of it as quite restrictive, but it is that vibe, you know, capsule vibe. Not having, not having loads of stuff, just having like less stuff, but good quality, really nice pieces that go with a lot but without the like, <laughs> you're like, you know, I, I'm allowed some trends here and there. So now I feel like I have to show you this camel coat, which I picked up from Zara because it's just so pretty. It's just like, I think like it's just all the, the things I love brought together. So I'm gonna try it on and show you. Okay guys, so don't laugh at me. I've got my pajamas on still. <laughs> but here is the coat, oh. Oh, I just love it. I just love it. I feel like the colour's not coming up great. So I might have to share it with you in the morning a little bit better. But um, it's like a proper true camel colour. It's not orangey, but it's, I feel like it's coming up orangey in the camera. Um, it's got these really cute button details. Pocket. Two buttons on the front. Um, and it's just a really nice fit. Like it's oversized, but not drowning me. Like when I turn to the side... It's not unflattering, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm absolutely in love with this. This was 79.99, which I know is a more considered purchase. It was a bit of an impulse one for me today, but I have been mindful of the fact that I wanted to add a camel ward. Oh, there we go, the colors just changed. I wanted to add a camel coat to my wardrobe. So it's something that technically in my mind, it was considered, it wasn't just like, oh, let's go and get it. The other thing I love is the like teddy feel to the material. So it's not a teddy coat, but it just makes the coat a little bit more casual. For someone who, where I live, to wear like a smart version of this coat, it would just be too dressy and I know I wouldn't get the wear out of it. Probably only like on my trips to London, I would get to wear it. So with this, I can wear this like really, really casually every single day. I'm gonna wear it like with jeans, plain cream jumpers, my Uggs. It styles so well with my Ugg Tasmans, or what are they called, Ugg Taz, um, which I did actually decide to upgrade. Um, yeah, what I did was I bought a pair, a cheaper pair from a brand called Ego, which I'll link down below. So many of you guys have bought them as well. Um, I think you can get 20% discount with my name as the code. Um, I'll leave that down in the description box and it's not an ad I generally just like bought them for myself I bought two pairs I still got the sand pair um this is the sand pair they're really nice and I just wanted to buy them to see if I'd wear them like how I'd style them because they were 30 pounds and I think like 30 pounds actually quite good for like a shoe so I thought right I'm gonna buy them see how much I wear them and then I'll decide whether I want to invest in the Ugg or not like the Ugg Taz because I did think they're not really me I did think they were quite young but they've lived on my feet since they arrived and I love them and I just knew after I'd worn those ones out the house a few times because initially I was like oh my god they feel a bit like a slipper I was like no I love these I and I just thought do you know what? I do really want the Ugg and you don't need to upgrade to the Ugg like they're good enough like you could just keep them but as I mentioned earlier I am trying to invest in more quality pieces that will last me longer so and I also want to feel it makes me feel nicer to wear the real branded product because obviously it's a different material it feels nicer that the insole that is made of wool you know they are a cheaper make they're, they're more cheaply made not as comfortable um, they're absolutely fine like they are good enough but that was my reason basically behind upgrading so yeah hope that makes sense and um, let me know if you do like or don't like the Ugg Tazes because I do I do know that they are a little bit of a uh, Marmite purchase still haven't decided on the trainers that came the other day yet still stuck between the neutral and the grey so let me know what your favourite of those was as well that would be really helpful if you could actually help me pick because I need to return the other ones next week um and yeah I'm gonna go and actually start some work now I'm gonna do on oh, Saturday night I'm gonna start some work for my styling business so I've just started and launched um styled by KBH which I'm really excited about I've had so much interest that I didn't expect um and 
I basically need to sort my shit out because I have launched something that I'm like very capable of doing but I don't have like all the things in place yet basically so I need to go and get all the things in place it's just little things like setting up an email address for it I want to get a website sorted a few things like that um questionnaire for all my new clients and yeah it's going to be a new styling service that I'll be offering so if anyone is interested just pop me a little message down below ideally you could pop me a message on the account on Instagram I'll leave the handle here that would be better um and when I have got an email I will pop it in the description below but yeah I'm gonna start rambling now because I feel like I've been chatting a lot and I'll see you guys tomorrow Hello, it's Sunday Ruth is cooking us a Sunday roast yeah What's on the menu tonight? Caramelised leek onion and peas. Goose fat Feed potatoes it. with really. thyme and rosemary and salt and pepper. Buttered mashed swede. Chicken. And some honey glazed carrots. Leeks. As well. We've got a bit cheaty on the... Uh, Chicken. That looks good. Woohoo! Right. Someone gets a bit protected about the potatoes. Yep. And he was actually wearing his nice top earlier, but we now don't have it on because he's cooking and doesn't want it to smell, which is fair enough. I just wanted to show you I tried this uh, What the Brand dress on that I opened yesterday. And I'm going to show it with this bag as well because it went really, really well with this bag. Um, I'll show you in the mirror here. So this is what I wore today. So this is the brown knitted dress from What the Brand. It's absolutely gorgeous. I actually had to look at the in ingredients, the material, because I thought it was actually wool because it's so soft and lovely, but it's not wool. Um, but anyway, I'll show you it close up and on gonna focus Anytime soon there we are. really 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 gorgeous thick knit dress with the little slits at the side that makes it nice and easy to walk in um, and yeah I wore it with this bag today from Katie Loxton um, and these are one of those bags that are like a really great find look really expensive um, but aren't gonna break the bank so yeah I absolutely love that and I just wore my caramel and coat and I wore these boots from river island which are also leather they're like a dark browny red and they were only 65 pound for actual leather boots so like i absolutely love them um, and we also popped to Reese's mum and dad's for breakfast this morning and then just went into town and did like a few little boring bits didn't we like sort your phone out and Go and get some new plates and bowls. These are from Asda, but they look like the white company. They look really, really expensive. And they're really, really not expensive. So I've stocked up on some in case we run out. And I'm just gonna sit and chill, I think, and watch some TV. would like to know will you do a Zara haul with the new Zara pieces for us tomorrow please if I get enough likes what does that mean only if you only if they leave you a comment yeah okay deal got lots of comments and I'll do it sure. okay see you tomorrow good morning my loves I hope you're all having a lovely day I am just popping on um, to give you guys a little bit of an update actually because I feel like it's been quite a busy vlog we've been quite here and there lots of shopping heavy but there's also a few little like life updates that I want to update you on whilst we I had you here so um, I'll start off with I think that you guys will know me and Reese got engaged last year so wedding planning wise 
I did go red wedding dress shopping the other day, which was really, really fun. I really, really enjoyed. Um, we still aren't actually any further ahead with the wedding plans because we're in the middle of actually buying a house, which is really, really exciting at the minute we're here um, in a furnished flat, which is lovely and it's great and it's been great for us for the last year. But we decided we wanted to invest our money into a property that we can live in and also rent out hopefully as well. So when we pop off on our trials, which we will be doing next year, then um, yeah, our plan is to rent that out and have it as a bit of a, a way to earn some money while we're away rather than paying for like two rents. Because when we went to Bali this year for three months, we paid for the rent here as well. So it was an expensive month. Um, so yeah, moving forward, that's not the plan. We are hoping that we might have a date to move in before Christmas. That's really, really, really optimistic, but we shall see. Um, and I will keep you up to, updated on that um, in next month's vlog. So we're gonna be having one monthly vlog. Um, I think one every week is probably too much and I don't do that much interesting things. <laughs> A lot of my week looks like this. I'm just sat um, at my makeshift desk doing a lot of admin. So <laughs> my emails, editing, all sorts of stuff like that and brand selections, which I do really enjoy, but a lot of it will just be me sat here. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe once a month, if that's not enough, maybe we'll do once every two weeks. If they start getting a little bit long and I think, oh, I need to cut these up, we'll look into that. Um, and then, so yeah, that's exciting news. And then also I have just signed with an agency for my styling Katie Victoria Helen page on Instagram and TikTok and obviously here as well. So that's really, really cool as well. I'm excited to see how that goes because I've been solo, free solo, hand solo, wing woman. No, what's it called? Like I've just been doing it all by myself and it's a little bit exhausting. So I'm really, really excited to have a new fantastic woman on board and helping me so all new inquiries i'll pop her email down below in the description box if you have any inquiries to reach out to work together or any brands then yeah please feel free to email lauren and i'm trying to think of any other updates just had a busy day filming yesterday and um organizing getting things ready other than that i think that's all Thank you all so much for being here and for watching today's vlog. I hope you really, really enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up, leave a comment of what you enjoyed most and what you want to see more of here on this channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.